Hey everybody, welcome back to No Ordinary Path. I'm John. Today is going to be a Real Talk Tuesday. Specifically today, we're going to talk about having a non-walkable roof and roof maintenance and why it's important. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please let us know in the comments below. This is a episode where we kind of give advice, tips, and tricks. If you are brand new here, I'm a travel nurse, travel around the country in our 37 foot travel trailer that we've named Wendy with my three kids, a dog, and my beautiful wife, Kristen. Today we are in, uh, where are we at? Mississippi? Yeah. Mississippi? Yeah. Yes, Mississippi, she says and um, are en route to North Carolina for our next contract in Asheville. Um, we had some amazing storms last night, and I noticed, well, Kristen actually noticed it first, a little bit of leaking in our bedroom right above our bed. Oh, no. Well, I'll we'll have to get up there with some decor and just do the whole thing. Oh, gosh, I hope that it's not all up and underneath there. I mean, we just we just treated the roof. Maybe something jarred when we did that. Yeah, but this is this is saturated here. That's just that like press board. Yeah, but is, so can it get in between anything up there? Oh sure. I mean, it's in all the laminates. You know, that's a bummer. Um, Keystone has the cap that covers the front end of the trailer, and it kind of has a reputation as being one that leaks. So I'm up here today taking a look at it and um, wanted to also take a little bit of time and talk about our maintenance that we have done on our roof. Wendy ha is an ultralight trailer, which is great. We purchased her that way on purpose because initially we were towing with a half ton truck. If you haven't seen that video, it's probably our most popular one, gets lots of comments. You could check it out up here. But we were towing with a half ton truck and so we wanted an ultralight trailer and we found this one, it was perfect for our family. We also have a video about why we chose it and you can also check that one out up here too. But the caveat was is that it had to have a what they call non-walkable roof. So you'll see a lot of fifth wheels and travel trailers that have the ladders up the back or the back side of the trailer. Those are strong roofs. They're also a lot heavier. And that's where Wendy loses most of her weight. Dry for the length of her, she's only 6,700 pounds dry. And that throws a lot of people off. But the roof is one of the heaviest parts of an RV. And so... Here we are. It's got sticks and stuff all over it today because we parked, you know, in this beautiful forest here in Mississippi uh, and the storm came through last night. We recently cleaned it and there is some things, you know, that we were told when we first bought the trailer that talks about roof maintenance. There's two main types of roofing, EPDM or TPO roofing. Yeah, Kristen's got it written over here on the board. That's why I keep looking over. <laughs> if you're wondering and you don't feel like getting all the way up onto the roof and you want to look, oh boy, here we go. You can take this off, which is just the little vent cover that separates the insulation and part from the roof. And we need a flashlight. Um, here, right here. You get your flashlight and look up in here and you can see the color. And this is just it. That's the, there's our roof right there. That's how thin it is. But this is definitely a TPO roof because it's cream colored or white or whatever. It's not black. On both was, sides. Yeah, on both sides. Yeah. If it was black or you know something different, then it would be the other kind. But that's not. So that's one little easy way that you can do it. Keystone suggests about every six months to do a treatment. Where it breaks down is just from general weather, but also the UV rays from the sun break it down. And so you condition it and clean it. And man, was it a difference. We were a little overdue on it, I won't lie. Um, we picked out this one conditioner that turned out pretty good for us. And yeah, you can check that out. We are standing outside of Woody's Car Wash in Wickenburg, Arizona, where we are going to take the opportunity to finally do the roof treatment that we wanted to. Yeah. A little windy out today too, and it's supposed to be not done in direct sunlight, but that's hard to escape in Arizona. This is my new ladder. I'm kind of excited about it. I've always wanted a collapsible one. I did have like one that's kind of like a knockoff of the little giant ladders when we had a house in Colorado. Um, but this is so great because it fits down in the basement and I can just extend it up and it'll go a lot taller than this too. But for now, that'll do. Well, 
the first half is done and I'm doing it half long ways. Um, this is the best ideal that we could come up with in terms of doing this full time unless we had like a home base with a house and a hose because frankly I am, Wendy is so long that by the time I get to the back doing one side of it, the front is ready to rinse because it's drying. And even though I feel like it's taking, you know, it's taking it off and it's coating it the way it should be, I also feel like there's not specifically does it say this, but that you know you should rinse it while it's still wet. Um, you know, you gotta do the best that we can and kind of eh, you know improvise, adapt, and overcome here. But yeah, it's working. It's working. Went and bought a disposable mop essentially from you know Wally World and did it. It really didn't take that long. Like I said, one thing I would make sure is that you have access to decent water because there's no way this would have worked out in the desert with that 65 gallon bag of mine. It just would not have happened. our whole house with us to the car wash and give her a nice bath. Go, go, go! <laughs> go, 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 go! I So I'm up here on the roof, well, not on the roof clearly, but I'm on the ladder that I purchased for the roof so I can check everything out. And after the leak that we had and discovered last night, I want to get up here and take a look. Um, this is the Keystone cap, the front part of Windy that, uh, you know, protects her from all the road hash and weather and that kind of stuff. And it is unfortunately notorious to leak up here on the top part where it connects in. I cleaned this recently and I, uh, this I think is where the problem is. So it looks like that there, this was filled in, this little gap here. I think water is leaking down and underneath this and also this caulking here is kind of not great. So I'm going to repatch all of this stuff and probably do the whole thing where we take all this up and put new tape down and, and kind of make it look nice but I think that's the problem and I may just get the little caulking gun that I have out right now and just put a little stuff on there to try to seal it real quick hello there <laughs> this is oh I'm gonna step down one the all-purpose acrylic latex caulk plus silicone uh, so I'm hoping it will work as like I said kind of a quick fix to, uh, to, to do this. So we're just gonna go to town right here on it. The nice thing about the roof is nobody sees the roof, so it doesn't have to be pretty. <laughs> I don't really see any other spots where it might be getting in um, besides right here. So this is just where I'm gonna focus on today and then we'll kind of reevaluate as needed but for now and again the sides are black and this is white caulking because that's just awesome right that's just awesome so but it's what i have and i don't want any more water damage inside so we're going to put this on for now and hope that it does the, 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 the trick handy tool to have around in case stuff like this happens is caulking there you go now you can see me <laughs> um for stuff just like this. I know it's kind of big and bulky, but I have used it a few times and it does help. This is the right side of the camper. If you were uh, sitting in the sitting in the truck, there would be the passenger side. 
And um, I noticed some bubbling last night too on that, and I think that's from both here and this little spot right here where it's kind of come through. Um, so just gonna clean that up too, and you can see some over there that I did earlier. When it comes to roof maintenance, Keystone, you know, basically says make sure you get up there and check everything out. Well, that gets complicated in this non-walkable roof. There's a couple workarounds that we have found out. One. I love this ladder. I purchased this on Amazon. There'll be a link in the description below for it. It really was not that expensive. And it pretty much allows me to get up here and see everything. Now, that being said, they said, you know, when we bought this, to get up there and like check all the seals and the caulking and all that kind of stuff, the die core stuff that they use to seal everything on top of this rubber. Um, and do it fairly frequently. And so I have done that a couple of times. Now, it makes it more complicated when you can't walk on it, right? Nevertheless, that hasn't stopped my children from getting up here. In fact, they have discovered that if they climb up the back window, they can put their feet on the spare tire, jump up, reach the top, and haul themselves up. And you know how I discovered that? Footprints on the back window. How'd that get there? It's a foot, that's a footprint. That's not a footprint, Dad. That's not a footprint. No, that's a footprint. Yeah, then we caught them up here on it. So, <laughs> I know for a fact now that it can support at least 80 pounds of weight. I have read some things on forums where people get up here and walk, and the key to all this is weight distribution, where they will take either plywood or really thick foam board, is often suggested, and lay it down. Because of uh, Wendy, when we cleaned her, you can see the blacks, um, I don't know, the black stripes that go across her. Those are where the struts are. Uh, I don't like the black spots, but ironically, they do make it easier to understand like where I could step if I needed to as far as support goes and distribute that weight. So I have not actually gotten up here and called on because with this ladder, it can extend quite a bit more than this and I can lean over pretty far as long as I've got someone safely basing the bottom for me. So today, yeah, I'm just up here in the bugs and uh, doing some maintenance on the front part with this caulking I've talked about already. So we're just gonna go and finish up this side here. This cap here that runs along and seals the front fiberglass piece with the roof main backing, um, this whole thing needs to be probably replaced. And there are some excellent videos out there. We will be making one when we do it um, about taking this whole piece apart, putting some um, special tape for it, some more of the die core and seal it, and totally redoing it because the fact that it's just already starting to do this and start to leak means that it's just you know hitting its mark and let me just get safe. Um, that it's kind of reaching the end of its life and needs to be replaced. And, and that's just RV maintenance every day. Something new. Um, we'll keep an eye on the inside to see if we have any more rain, if it leaks any more tonight. Uh, yeah, go from there. Well, again, thanks for being here, everyone. I hope you did enjoy the video and found it at least a little bit informative. Leave some comments below if you have any questions about uh, how things are going for us. Um, we should be getting in to North Carolina here in just a few more days. We've got a couple more states to hit up so that we can cross our map off. And uh, yeah, look forward to some new episodes coming out about kind of coming through this and how we dealt with the storm. And then also um, next Tuesday, look for my banner contract number two review to come out. Uh, a little bit different than an actual hospital review because I did that already, but uh, still a good take. So look forward to that and we will catch you guys out there. Not very well, huh? <laughs> We're deleting that. <laughs>